Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Let me be one of the first to say to you, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2023, and also, thank you for an amazing 2022. I appreciate all of you guys that tune into the videos. I absolutely love doing this, and I really appreciate uh, all the comments and, and everything, all the support. Throughout the last year, it has been a remarkable year, and of course, I owe it all to you guys. So thank you so much for the support, and we look to do it even bigger and better this year in 2023. With that being said, EA Sports, they've done it again with Winter Wild Cards being so far the best promo this year. Even more objective content dropped yesterday, and that's what I want to talk about today. We have draft objectives now. We've got friendlies, we've got daily SBCs, foot champs, player picks, and even foot draft is getting shown some love for the first time this year with some really good content and extra player picks and packs available via objectives for rewards for playing that but today's a Sunday and of course since we didn't have a mini release yesterday we're looking towards a mini release today I want to talk about today's Sunday January 1st first day of 2023 content on this game and of course the question that we all want the answer to what's EA gonna do with this winter best of are these guys going out of packs today or are they staying they've stayed in packs through the weekend of course these guys dropped exactly one week ago on Christmas so that's a big question mark today as well because a lot of these cards could potentially go up if they go out of packs today but I wish again we still don't have any information about that from EA Sports and of course right now a very hot topic is Cristiano Ronaldo signing in the Saudi League and a lot of people went out on Friday and invested in his gold card thinking that it was going to be going out of packs well hey the January window the winter transfer window is now open right so technically the Ronaldo transfer um it sounds like it looks like it's gonna happen in this winter window he should be getting a new card but it's probably not going to happen for a couple of weeks. And I want to dive into that a little bit into this video and why I think there will be an investment opportunity here, but not yet. I think we need to wait a little bit longer as this card is going to come back into packs in the next couple of weeks, still as a Manchester United card once this Rule Breakers version that is in packs now removed. So there's a lot to talk about today. And of course, we're going to take a look at the market and what could be happening today on Sunday with content. If you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Let's first look at today's content on Sunday. What are we expecting? Well, of course, last week we had the menu release on Saturday. We didn't get anything yesterday, but there are only two cards out of the leak that we saw earlier this week that have not dropped yet in the game. And that is Pepe and Herrera. I'm guessing this is Ander Herrera, the PSG midfielder. And of course, this is Nicolas Pepe also in the league one getting a special card in winter wild cards only two cards out of this list though um have not dropped in the game which is a bit weird because usually mini releases consist of three or four cards most oftentimes it's not just two so i would think that ea would add another card to this mini release um i mean think about how many we had last week right we had a full 11 and then we had even even in the second row here on footbin right down below and right now we are still in that first row so hopefully i mean i would cross my fingers for at least three players today maybe four in the mini release but honestly who knows, but we can count on Pepe and Herrera most likely being a part of that mini release today. I do expect that to be a part of content. Now, of course, we are currently on 21 swap tokens. We got two tokens yesterday with the Winter Wild Cards Challenge 5 and the draft objective does give you a token. So 21 tokens in total and the objectives are available for Janu until January 6th. So I would, I would assume that EA is going to drop another token today. Where would that be? Maybe in another SBC. I think last weekend on the weekend, they went pretty heavy with the SBC. So I would imagine that they might drop another Winter Wild Cards challenge today or maybe something else in objectives to give us another at least one swap token. Of course, we'd expect that and player SBC, right? Yesterday, we had the Silas uh, player SBC, which again, you can't really look at these and say they're, they're bad value because EA just makes them so cheap. And that's been the best part about this Winter Wild Cards promo. And honestly, pretty consistent from EA throughout the winter period this year, even during some of the World Cup promos. A lot of the SBCs of cards that don't have that great of stats, EA still makes them fun enough to be semi-usable. And like a, a kind of a hype player with CLS, I was going to say big name, but just the hype player in the FIFA community. Shout out Danny Aarons. Five-star skills, three-star weak foot. It's only like 40 thousand coins it's okay that it's that cheap because the car is not that great so fun content right not amazing but fun so maybe we have that Bella Garde center mid I think is that's his name that's one that a lot of people have been looking forward to as a winter wild cards player I don't even know how to spell his name yeah this guy right here uh, a French midfielder 
that was leaked a couple days ago. So that Silas was leaked a long time ago as well. We got that yesterday. So maybe we're getting that guy today. Who knows? But expecting to see a player SBC as that's been the trend every single day, a Winter Wild Cards SBC player. Now, again, that's kind of our Sunday content. I'm not expecting anything crazy in that regard. Now, could EA shake it up? Absolutely, right? I think where they might shake it up today is really with this Winter Best Of. Like, either this stays in packs and it's just boring and it stays the same, or since this has been out for a week, EA pulled them out. I mean, there's technically a slight chance that they could do a different winter best of for the second half of the winter wild cards promo. And maybe they were just going from Sunday to Sunday with that sort of content. So that's a really big part of the market that I want to look at today because a lot of the guys that have been put back into packs, I mean, these guys have dropped. Like, look at 922 for Messi. I mean, that seems really low. I might have to check his price here in a second. There's not very many cards to like a million coins, but like that's really low for his card, of course, on the lower tier. Remember, we were looking at Lissandro Martinez on Friday at like 64,000 coins, and I believe he's like, what, 40 something K now? 40,000 coins for this Martinez card uh, just because it maintained uh, the supply and was supplied a lot more this weekend while it was in packs. So just, again, the most frustrating thing here is, and I tweeted this out yesterday, it's just we have no no conversation, no information from EA Sports, and we've been saying this all week, but it's ridiculous that these guys have been out in packs now for seven days and we have zero communication, no list, no time frame or anything. So cheeky plug, follow Twitter if you're not already. But, I mean, that's just kind of crazy. Hopefully today something changes with this, right? Uh, if these guys are going to be in packs all the way until the end of Winter Wildcards Team 2, they're just their prices are going to get even further down into the floor throughout the rest of this week as they're going to get supplied a bit more and stuff. Um... And we would want to watch those prices because there are some really, really meta players in here. But I, we just want some communication. And I would be fine if they wanted to put out, like, the team of the tournament Messi, team of the tournament Mb uh, Mbappe. Maybe you throw, like, I don't know, some of the other Path to Glories in packs. Like, another best of winter. I, I Sure, EA, go for it. I guess the only thing you have to be careful with then is, like, if any of you guys own, like, let's say they do Walker Path to Glory in the uh, second best of winter you know then of course some cards would be dropping a lot in price and that would be kind of you know annoying for a player standpoint if you own this card and then you see his price just destroyed because he got put back into packs that would be annoying but that's a very interesting part of content today on sunday that i want to watch now of course the market we talked about in yesterday's video the market was pretty high it still is pretty high i would i would really class the market and i would describe the market right now in this game as being pretty stable in most areas yesterday i flipped a couple icons i bought this muller at one mil flat i had really good profits on cafu i bought two of these um one under 1.4 mil and one a little over 1.4 mil so i made a lot of profit on that sold the de bruyne sold the salah sold the romeros i bought on the stream um, flipped the Gabriel Jesus. I bought that at 630. And then I bought a bunch of Vanja Milinkovic Savage at about 38 to 39,000 coins. Sold a lot of them for 47K. So some really good flips yesterday. I think there's going to be opportunities for flips today. I'm losing coins on the Desai. But I think there's good opportunities for flips today on the market as well. As you've seen and as we always see, some of these um, impacts cards from the winter wild cards team too have dropped off a lot in price again Milinkovic savage 28k sign me up for that right i bought this guy last night for 39,000, 40,000 coins sold him for 47 and now you're telling me he's in the 20s as a 99 speed goalkeeper i know his reactions are not that good but it's just a fun card right so you know some of these winter wild cards i think could have a slight bounce again today as a few of them had some fluctuations and some rises um yesterday into saturday i think some of the same could happen today and sunday but also I really think that some of your just cheaper cards on the market that are still pretty meta from recent promo teams and even some of your most popular gold cards I think that on Sundays a lot of people that play squad battles especially uh, with this influx of new players on the game you, you've been seeing it right a lot of your lower tier cards have had really good movement in the past week um, and you know you look at guys like Gold Van Dyke of course he is out of packs you look at some of the other gold cards like I think of Mohamed Salah is another one that's done really good Gold Neymar has been rising up in price just because like this guy was 84k last week right and now Neymar who is still uh, in packs and still getting supplied through lightning rounds you know yesterday he didn't move as much but Friday he was down to like 95 went above 100 so you know a card like this could continue to go up a little bit especially with all the league one links that we have that are really hyped uh, at the moment and I think that lower tier on the market today would be a part of the market that I would want to watch maybe like gold Vinny 
Gold Sun. Some of these gold cards that you're like, Nate, they're dead, right? Well, not necessarily. Gold Vinny yesterday went from 22K up to 25 almost, back down to 20. So now he's back up to 22. And then some of your promo cards from recent promo teams that are on the cheaper tier that tend to fluctuate a bit in price, or just some of your most meta promo cards in general, maybe some of the Phenoms cards, like look at Sokka, 125K. That card just keeps going up in price uh, as you kind of monitor his fluctuations. He's, of course, out of packs. Dan James, another one that moves a lot. So like these kind of under 150, under 200,000 coin cards that people are buying and adding to their teams, they fluctuate a lot in price. Um, and I think there's going to be opportunities for, to see a few of them go up today just because I feel like with squad battle rewards, a lot of people that are maybe getting the game for the first time, we're going out and playing squad battles, getting some objectives done that are out there. So I think I'd watch that cheaper tier of the market today. Of course, you could definitely trade with icons if you're on a higher tier budget. I got to tell you guys right now that trading with Prime Icons, which they just made it a whole lot easier on the companion app or the web app. They finally allowed these guys to be searchable. But like these guys just get mad rare and they fluctuate a ton. And uh, there's demand for them because people are playing the game right now and people are playing Weekend League and stuff like that. Like this Roberto Carlos is getting a little bit low for what I've seen in his price um look at that molar card again so on all budgets i think there will be opportunities to trade and to make coins today on this game you just kind of have to watch prices watch footman the market is very healthy there's not a lot of crashing that's going on right now again i would just use the word stable to describe a lot of the market except there is one area that is down a lot and that is center backs. And that's because we've had a couple really, really popular SBCs dropped in the past few days on center backs. Number one was the Eric Bailly SBC. And if you take a look at some of your most meta center backs in the game, look at the price drop offs we're seeing here. Kuti Romero, 265,000 coins. He was 300 on Thursday, right? We have back to back days. We have Eric Bailly SBC on Friday. And then on Thursday, we had the Maldini. And a lot of these, and a lot of these players have gone down, especially in the center back position. Cordoba, who I just looked up, he's 313. What was he before the crash? He was 370, and now he is down to 300,000 coins. Some of these center backs that are pretty rare, pretty meta, like I would say the Romero and the Cordoba are great examples of that. I would just say keep an eye on them because if there starts to be some hype with other leaks, like right now, a lot of the League One hype is real, right? You take a look at League One cards across the game, um, especially because of the Eric Bailly, the Payette. We've been talking about these two guys in SBCs. If we get another League One midfielder today, some of your other League One cards could continue to go up in price, but that's where the hype is right now. French links in League One, especially uh, with the center back Eric Bailly that got dropped, a lot of your center backs are down. There will be a low point and these cards will start to rebound but the ones that will rebound first are the ones that have like new cards that are released that are hype from that league or from that nation that kind of push them up a little bit so guys like cordoba guys like romero maybe check out some of your other really meta center backs that are in this game they've probably dropped off a little bit in price recently um just because like this marquinhos man for 560 000 coins this guy was 670 and now he's 560 and this is even a league one card but people that are really excited to go i guess go and do the maldini sbc there's, there's been a lot of panic selling there and you know we do have a big time veron that is in this current promo team as well so that's probably hurting some of the top tier center backs on the game so just center backs are a position right now that are dropping a lot in price but there would be a potential to rebound in the future uh just depending on what cards get released with what hype links and opportunities there are to put in your teams there so that's kind of what's going on with the market it should be still pretty stable but again to me that just i don't know kind of signals an opportunity that in the next it doesn't have to be today or tomorrow but in the next couple of days you would think it might not be a terrible time to start thinking about offloading some cards from your club if you're making a lot of coins on them we're going to open 85 plus double from objectives and we get a league one psg cheeky killer navas PSG pack right there. Wow. Okay. We will take that. Why couldn't we have had an Mbappe there, EA Sports? That would have been fantastic if we were running with the PSG love. But anyways, I will take that fodder from a double 85 plus. By the way, objective packs are juiced. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but like that 85 plus double came from the Winter Wildcards daily login, which today, people that have been keeping up with this SBC, you're going to be getting an 81 times 11. So like almost everybody on FIFA today is going to get an 81 times 11 pack. And that's just another reason why so many people are able to do SBCs right now and are crafting Winter Wildcards players, Jarzinho, and all that good stuff. There's just so much 
fodder that you were able to attain from all of these packs. So this is a really big W. We are getting towards the end uh, in which the early part of this week will all be opening Winter Wild Cards player packs, which will be super duper hype. But guess what? EA Sports yesterday said, hey, you want to grind after one of those packs? Well, we'll give you the opportunity to go after two because I believe maybe it's not in this year, not in Winter Draft, but in, uh, oh yeah, it's Winter Wild Cards Cup. Right now we have so many objectives, it's hard to keep them straight. But yesterday they dropped Winter Draft. And guys, I have not played a foot draft this year. Foot Draft came into FIFA and FIFA 16. It was all the rage for a couple years and it has died off big time because the rewards were just not worth it. But EA is bringing the hype back. If you actually go into Foot Draft um, and they combined this objective with a very, very cheap and very good value draft token um, SBC that you can do every single day, uh, if I can find it right here, it's only like 7,000 coins to do or 8,000 coins, which is half the price of what it usually costs in coins to get into uh, a draft. So really, really good value for this. You can do this once a day, which is a great grind up, um, to coincide with the objectives. So draft is kind of hot right now, right? You can go in a draft and get some extra rewards if you want to grind it. That's why I'm saying like EA has done it again with winter wild cards. This content is top tier. This is, this is really peak content, guys. Like all of the extra player picks and the fodder and the cups and the, and the friendly objective game modes. And you combine that with the daily player SBCs, the swaps program that is bam, 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 tokens every single day. This is peak content, all right? And this is just like Winter Wild Cards from last year. EA has done it again with this Winter Wild Cards promo. They have dropped a W, right? Of course, you could look at the player SBCs and say, Nate, they could be a little better. Yeah, but they're all cheap at least, right? None of them have been crazy, crazy overpriced. If you just don't like doing uh, Okello or maybe even Maxime Hullet, then don't. It's only 30, 40,000 coins. Anyway, you're not really missing out on too much uh, or, you know, you don't have to spend too much to get those guys. So again, I just think that this, this content is absolutely insane. And also just kind of keep that in mind, right? Because after this week, we go into another promo called Foot Centurions. It seems that is the leak. And as, of course, as we get ready towards team of the year, like a lot of us are going to have really, really high expectations heading into this next promo, and we're going to get used to all of this stuff, right? Now, all this stuff is, you know, some of it's out for five more days. Some of it's out for, like, winter draft is out for a couple more, uh, two two weeks, basically. So there's a lot of time left on this stuff, and it'll go into overlap with the Centurions promo. But this is, like, it's not going to get too much better than this, guys. And I think we have to just realize that, like, we can't be expecting this level of content every single promo because EA just, they just don't want to deliver it every single promo. And if they gave us this 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 content all the time, our expectations would just go higher and higher and higher. And honestly, this promo this year in the content is, I would say, almost even better than last year with the draft stuff they added yesterday. There's literally every single facet of the game right now, every single game mode that there is, even squad battles, there's uh, objectives to get done, but uh, even moments too, right? You've got rivals, of course, your, your weekly grind, you've got extra champs picks, you've got friendly cups to play, and now you've got draft, right? And I've got draft tokens, so I'll probably do this during the week. You might as well. The content right now is it's just fantastic. It's grindable on all different levels. And of course, you can go to SBCs, you talk about the league SBCs, it's wild. So again, I just want to talk about that a little bit because this is basically as good as it gets. And EA, they're timing it perfectly, right? They're timing it around the holidays, around the new year, where they know there's going to be a lot of new players that get the game for the first time. They're going to be trying out FIFA for the first time and just having opportunities to play in all these modes and to drive engagement. EA is being really, really smart uh, by doing this and by doing what they're doing right now. I'm gonna take a quick look at this Messi live with you guys in this video because 922 seems very cheap. Has he been there all day? He's been between, wow, he was 950. Yeah, I think I probably could have bought that 922 and then maybe sold it for around a million coins. If I see another Messi at like 900K, I might have to snag that because him going up 100,000 coins would mean 50K net after tax profit. So we'll keep an eye on that messy, see what he does today. PSG links, it's messy, right? Anyways, last thing I want to talk about in this video, Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course, Cristiano Ronaldo got his transfer to the Saudi league. He went after the bag, he got the bag. Whatever your opinions are on the situation, 
it impacts FIFA, all right? It impacts FIFA because no longer is Ronaldo going to have a Manchester United card. And I think that was part of the issue when they dropped this flashback just a week ago or a week and a half ago. They had to make it a Portugal League card because he was not signified or not signed by any club at the time. And the FIFA Pro rights kind of would have changed, I guess, right? Well, this Ronaldo card is going to act like all other cards that we see during the winter transfer window, which is now open, right? Since it's January. This card's going to act like all others do every single year. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about because some people, after they saw this picture earlier in the weekend, went out and started buying the Cristiano Ronaldo gold card because they're like, it's going to go out of packs. I have to invest. Well, technically right now, this card is out of packs. The Rule Breakers is in packs. And you saw this card go up a lot, especially on Friday when the news broke, right? Ronaldo went from 80K. He went all the way to about 97 and then kind of went back down. Basically dropped all day yesterday down to the low 80s again. Now, a couple things with this card. First of all, it will stay in packs until EA add a brand new Ronaldo will be the same rating. They do this every year when they do the transfer cards, right? It'll probably take a couple of weeks, though, before they add in the Al Nasser uh, Cristiano Ronaldo card, which will still be 90 rated, but it will have the Al Nasser links on it, right? It'll have that club badge, right? Maybe they'll, up, they'll update the image on the card to show him, you know, cheesing and the portrait, you know, there. But his Ronaldo, this Manchester United card will not go out of packs, in my opinion, for at least a week to two weeks because it takes EA time to add in all the new players and all the new clubs and they sort of add them in in batches, right? So on Footbin, if you want to wait and see when this is going to get dropped, you go to the players tab, drop down new FIFA 23 players. You see like Silas is one of the first ones that is added there. You will start to see that EA will populate this with cards uh, and they'll start to add them into the game and Footbin will start to add those to the website of a Ronaldo with a different club badge and with different links so that's what i would watch out for uh with this ronaldo card because um you know he will be getting a new card in the game and this one will go out of packs but it's not out of packs just yet and i think it's going to come down to a timing thing with these cards because um you know of course al nasser is in the game right they're in the game so ronaldo will get a card and it's not like they don't have the rights or whatever right he'll be like taliska he'll have a card in the game uh, with that club badge and with those league links in the Saudi league. But that gold card for Ronaldo that is Manchester United and especially the rule breakers are going to have some value because they're going to have better links for most people that want to use this Ronaldo card in their team. So I'm saying that this Ronaldo, I mean, this Ronaldo and the gold one will be an investment at some point, but I think we need to wait a little bit because the gold card is going to come back into packs. It's going to probably drop as we head towards team of the year, but we're going to have to keep a close eye to footbin and to the game and the concepts because once they add that new Ronaldo into the code, it'll be a very short time period until we see that one in packs instead of the Manchester United one. So I would not go invest in Ronaldo yet, especially with his gold card being out of packs right now. Uh, I would definitely wait until the rule breaker is out of packs. This gold card will come back into packs here probably pretty soon when the winter best of is up, whenever that may be. And then as soon as EA look like they're adding the new Ronaldo card to the game, then we can start to look at the market and go and get involved with that because I think those Ronaldo's long term, even this one, uh, the rule breakers Ronaldo, I think there's some value there. I really do, uh, just because of the links that he has, the dynamic image with the Manchester United kit, and I think that'll make him more valuable in FIFA to most people, um, of course. So until he gets like a team of the season card or something for Al Nasser, and then you know he'll be like 96 or seven rated or whatever. And I don't, I don't know about team of the year. I mean that's a whole other conversation in itself. Team of the year is voted on nowadays so maybe Ronaldo gets a team of the year this year just because his fan voted who knows but that's a whole big conversation and I've talked enough in this video but I hope you guys have a great start to the new year enjoy the time uh, with family and friends and hopefully EA drops some new year cheer on the game today as well you know EA I mean they're giving us an 81 times 11 so that's pretty solid and the content's been great so I don't want to ask for too much but they've been doing a great job so if you guys enjoyed this video today smash thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it has been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys tomorrow peace